Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And Tim and I are out here paddling around on Clear Lake today, taking a quick breather up here on this berm. As promised, we told you that we were going to start doing some more bait reviews. So today I pulled out two more baits that I want to talk to you guys about. They're both jerk baits, uh, two very different sizes, very, very different applications, but two baits that I've been playing a lot with lately. Uh, and now that I've got a little bit of a comfort level with them, I wanted to, to put my two cents in there for you. Hopefully it's something that will uh, give you an advantage, help you decide if they're baits that you want to purchase or not. First one is going to be the Jackal Dow's Veto. Uh, this bait, first impression when I saw this bait, it looked to me like it was going to play in the same category as, say, a Lucky Craft Stacy 90. Large lip, obviously designed to be a deep diving bait. Uh, has a nice weight transfer system in it. I like the paint job. I like the hook size. Uh, first impressions where I was very impressed with this bait all the way around. When I got out and fished it, I confirmed that. Uh, so far, so good. This is a bait that I really like. Saw it on Tackle Warehouse, threw it on my cart at the last second. But what I've noticed with this bait, a couple of quick things. First off, it dives extremely quickly. Uh, so far, I've been able to catch fish anywhere in the... Uh, I've probably called fish out of like 12 to 13 feet so far. I'm not sure how deep I'm actually getting with it. I'm guessing somewhere in that 8 to 10 range with really light line, like 8 to 10 pound line. I've been throwing it on a spinning rod uh, to really get that bait down because our fish hadn't really moved up yet. But it's a true suspending bait, which is amazing. I mean, if it rises at all, it's so slow, it's not even noticeable. So cold water jerk bait, absolutely. Uh, like I said, it's got a great weight transfer. You can see it's throwing two beads all the way to the back of that bait. Oh, three beads, actually, now that I really look at it. Uh, so it casts like a bullet, which is letting me get deeper. That's really nice. Comes with decent hooks. Uh, as soon as they're doled out, I threw a stock just to see, but I'll be changing these. Uh, I change all my jerk bait hooks. So uh, down in the video description, I'll give you a link not only to the bait, uh, but to those hooks as well. It's that owner Nana, or not owner, it's the... Uh, Gamakatsu, the Aaron Martin's Nano is the hook that I throw on that uh, that I really, really like for jerkbait fishing. We've talked about that before. Uh, Ghost Minnow is the color I went with. They had some other nice colors. That's the only color I've played with so far. Uh, the bait does seem to have, you know, any any jerkbait with a really big lip on it. I feel like it's it's tempting to overwork those baits. So I did notice with this bait that I'm more successful when I fish it methodically. So just, instead of just cracking that bait, really ripping it hard, I just I just pop it. Just a snap of the, of the rod tip seems to be best. That's giving me that best darting and then kill action. Uh, so far, very impressed with that bait. I think that's one worth looking at. If you wanna throw just something a little different than a Stacy 90, maybe a different color profile, a little different action, it has a really good body roll and a true suspender, which is really, really nice. Now the other bait, opposite ends of the spectrum that's the uh, mega mass canada when i saw these we threw a post up on facebook i don't know if you guys follow us on facebook but we started talking about this bait immediately uh went out and started throwing it first thing i noticed in my opinion not a plus at least for how i fish is that it was a very very fast rise so you'd work that bait down rip 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 as soon as you kill it start coming up but the stock hooks on it were ultra light which for where I'm fishing here on Clear Lake, where we have big fish, also not a huge plus. So I changed my hooks almost immediately. That's the Owner 3X treble. Uh, in my mind, I'm throwing this bait for big fish. I mean, it's a, I'm probably gonna get it wrong because it doesn't say on it, but I wanna say it's 190 millimeter. I mean, it's a, it's a big bait. It's a lot bigger than say a Lucky Craft Pointer 128. But what's cool about it is that it's super, super slim. So even though it's a large bait, the moment I saw it in the water, I thought, I mean, that's a fishy bait. It's fishable. Uh, in fact, in the first couple rips, had like a pound and a half or just come up and massacre it. Uh, so smaller fish are not afraid to eat it. I read some reviews from other guys that I trust. Uh, been doing really well on it with smallmouth. But again, I started changing those hooks right away. 
what that did when I put three of the owner 3x on it instantly it didn't quite get it to suspend it it got it to like this speed of rise like ultra 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 slow rise which in my book is money because I can throw this bait in and around cover and if I feel it nudge up against something you just pause it's gonna lift itself out of there it's gonna get you out of that snag but it's also not coming out so quickly that the fish won't just smash it. So when I paired that thing up with heavier hooks, I'm throwing this thing on 15 to 20 pound line. I was throwing it on stout line. Uh, I'm not trying to get it deep. I was only fishing it in like three to five foot of water. One thing that I really liked about it is that that bait, even when you rip it hard, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, some baits have a really wide darting action. You want that, like the Stacey or that Dow's Vito I was just talking about. This bait doesn't. When you snap that thing hard, I'm only getting maybe a foot, foot and a half of movement out of it. But because it's so slim, and see how high those sides are, how flat sided that bait is? I was getting an incredible amount of flash and roll out of it. So. I'm not covering a ton of water. I'm staying in the strike zone. If I get in around cover, I can float out of it. I'm getting all that flash and pop. And even on just my test casts, I started catching fish on it. Both of these, the reason I chose these two to show you, I think both of those baits are winners. I think, you know, now you know how you fish and you might fish differently than me. But if the, the places you see us fish or the things you hear, hear me saying about those kind of jive with you, those are baits worth looking into. So I hope that helps you guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna get back to paddling. I'll talk to you soon.